We just bought ourselves a trailer home. Guys, I think we're doing a thing right now. <laughs> oh, you can see the tiny little chip in corner of it. But now that we're trying to move in, we're finding quite a few things that need a fix. We don't know about the propane aspect of it. Bridge is still on the fritz. Ah. These things are heavy as hell. We have not been able to move in. We're doing the best we can to make this hideaway trailer F and A. We didn't even measure that. But will it be enough to turn this trailer into a comfortable home for our family? Let's dive in and find out. Ah! Good morning, everyone. <sighs> Our first night was a success. It was. She slept amazing the first half of the night. So now it would be really nice to just make breakfast and hang out. But we have no <laughs> food here. I need a beverage. Okay, let's go get something. Breakfast time. We went to the store. We got all of our groceries. We loaded them up. First things first, always turn on your fan. All right. You were saying, good sir? Oh, I'm we don't know about the propane aspect of it. Yeah, I don't think the propane's coming. Not yet. Realized the fridge wasn't cold anymore. Realized that the cooktop wasn't turning on. Realized that we run out of propane. Not necessarily ideal. I can definitely still get breakfast for Everly going without cooking anything, so we'll do that. So it looks like I have to go get propane or I gotta turn on that generator. For now, maybe I just turn on the generator until I get back. Uh, that way we have a refrigerator, because otherwise the refrigerator is not working. And that's the problem with not having a 12 volt fridge. All right. We're getting the kinks out, guys. Our first breakfast after our first night. <coughs> just me and Everly on our own. Because <coughs> Frank's got to go get the propane. Hey, babe, before I go, do I have uh, sunglasses? Here you go, here you go. You look fabulous. Maybe by our second morning, we'll have it all figured out. We stopped at Sunny and picked up a bunch of things, including this super cute one that Tio made us while we were over there with a the CNC machine. So this is gonna go in her bedroom. Obviously, we've got some unpacking to do. We grabbed a couple boxes of stuff from Sunny. Sunny's actually back on her way to the mechanic. That's a story for a whole other day. So basically now, we just gotta unpack and move in. All the way. I am so freaking thankful for this cart right now. <laughs> Cause these things are heavy as hell. Whew. They say they're 30 pound tanks, but on the outside of it, it says 71 and change. So what I've learned about this indicator is it will show red right here when it's empty and then it will show green right here when it's not. Right now it's showing red because I haven't opened up the tanks yet. And then this regulator will allow it to automatically switch over once one pressure is higher than the other. I think it's green, <laughs> I think. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set up this system from the inside. Everybody's taking a nap. I just heard the propane kick on, so we know we're good. I'm gonna put it back into electric though for now until we shut off that generator. But for now, we're, we're getting the temperature of the space down just to get it nice and cool in here. And then we'll go ahead and we'll show up the generator at that point. It's been like two or three days. This bridge is still on the fritz. Ah. We thought we got it working and then woke up and it wasn't again. And then thought we had it working and then it wasn't. It's been like a back and forth. So Frankie has gone out today and purchased a couple of items that will hopefully resolve the issue and pinpoint exactly what it is. Because honestly, we can't really live in here if we can't have a fridge that works and a cooktop that works. It's like the two main things of living is eating, right? What I found out so far is that the thermal fuse keeps tripping on this and I think it has something to do with the type of uh, pressure that we're getting from the propane tank. I kind of tried to isolate it and figure out if it was just the fridge, but now what's happening is the stove is also going out. So I've reset it several times. I did want to try something before I try anything else. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to disconnect this here, right? A solenoid for this, uh, for this valve here. Because what's, what happens is if you have a leak anywhere on your system, the tank itself 
will go into like a lockout mode. And when that lockout mode happens, you have to open up all the valves and uh, close the valves on the tank, let all the pressure out and then start over again. <laughs> and one of the major things is opening the valve slowly on the propane tank. You can't just open it quick because that could cause an issue as well. So we're gonna test this, see if this theory is correct. And then if we get propane then to our stove and it's working fine, then we don't have an issue with our, our regulator up front. The other thing that we did that has actually been saving our butts right now is that we went on Facebook Marketplace and bought a generator for 300 bucks. Uh, it usually retails for like a thousand and we found one that had only had like 30 hours on it that the guy was just trying to get rid of and he actually delivered it. So we were like, all right, perfect. But can you hear the sweet sounds of generator? Me too, and I'd like to not. Also, it's super duper not efficient to just be running the generator all day. Ideally, we're gonna get the propane working and then can solve all of this, but at least we have a little bit of a backup. After troubleshooting the fridge, I know it's not the solenoid, but I think I know what the culprit is. All right, with the fridge being totally unreliable right now, we can't figure out what's going on yet. I need to protect my investment. And by investment, look at all of this money that I have in here. Food is money, food is expensive. And so I cannot have it in a fridge that's gonna be on, off, on, off, on, off every night. I need to put it in a fridge I can trust. Enter the Iceco. We got the APL 55 right here and it takes such little energy that we could power it off a tiny little power bank. Babe, it's ready for you to swap it over. Let's move our money, baby. The great thing about the APL 55 is that it's a dual zone refrigerator. So it can be either a fridge freezer, freezer freezer, or fridge fridge. Because we have nothing in our freezer except a bag of ice and a bag of rice. We're gonna set it as a double fridge so we can make sure that we can load up everything that we've got in here. I kind of want to throw this meat out and the soup and this rice. I'm still gonna have to throw away a couple of things that were temperature abused, unfortunately, which would have never happened with the ice go. Everly, you gonna help me get this stuff in here? Thank you, Everly. Thank you, baby girl. You're such a great help. Oh, thank you so much. Yep, <laughs> perfect job. Can I get some more? Thank you, Everly. We got a full 12 pack of eggs. Easily fit. <sighs> I wish all refrigerators worked as good as the ice tub. Yeah, I mean, we know for a fact that this fridge will keep us going, keep us powered. We won't have to worry about anything going south on us. And uh, I'm pretty happy about that, personally. Everly decided to help in her own way. She pulled an apple right out of the ice co and started going to town on it. To the best dad around. Thanks, babe. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Iceco's currently having their summer sale, which means that you can get 20% off this APL 55. It's an amazing fridge freezer combo. Super smart that you can just pull the insert out and have it be a giant space for whatever your needs are. Perfect for exploring or just saving your food when your fridge stops working. Check the link below and grab your Iceco today. So earlier I called a buddy, Nomad Brad. You guys probably know him from YouTube as well. He makes awesome videos also. He used to be an HVAC technician actually, just like myself. And I just wanted to discuss like low pressure gas. So I wanted to make sure that I was, uh, you know, troubleshooting this the proper way. I sprayed for leaks. I used Big Blue, which is the stuff that I used to use in HVAC, very trusted product to try to find a leak. And I just could not find a leak for the life of me. I don't smell anything either. So that also tells me that indicates that there probably is not a leak. At first it was allowing quite a bit of flow through and I was able to run both the stove and the refrigerator for at least long periods of time, like a couple of hours. And now it's down to like a few seconds. Me and him both came to the conclusion that it's most likely that low pressure valve. I'm gonna start there. It's the cheapest of all the things that I gotta switch out. Maybe that low pressure regulator is starting to like really fail. If it isn't that part, then we know. And then I can move on to the refrigerator part that I think it is. I even bought a new hose because I, I did see like a possible little kink or like cut in the line, but there was no leak there. So I'm gonna probably replace that line anyway, since I have it, might as well make it brand new. Uh, it's just been rubbing up against the trailer for a bit. And then this is the old one and you can see it has the straight three eighths connections. This has it as well right here, but I would then have to take off 
this flare. And what that flare actually does on this one in particular is it allows the gas not to flow back into the valve. So it has like a backflow prevention inside of these. And I like the idea of having that backflow prevention. All right, real quick, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect all this. That should have been closed, it is closed. It's not closed. <laughs> nice work. Thank you. I gotta close both of them before you do this. We're gonna remove this stuff. We'll get this one out of here. Yeah, this is official fix it Frank stuff. Uh, so I used Teflon that is good for propane and natural gas. I'm gonna put this on first before putting it on the actual piece because this part actually spins, so that's easy to put on. It's a flare. And on flares, you technically don't have to put Teflon on, but I'll put it on like the top part of the, of the flaring piece. Oh, well, we could return them if they don't work. Oh, they're gonna work. Damn boy, that sun is no joke. Uh, is going through here like this. Space alien. Space alien is going on like that. All right, give me a snap. That's it, it's hooked wow. up. I, uh, I opened up this line here, tested for any leaks. I got no leaks. How are you testing? So I got spray bubbles. And this basically, when you spray it on, you'll see some bubbles. And if you see those bubbles expand, you have a leak. So I tested all my connections. You would instantly see it. Like you would see like a, the service valve went green on it as well on the back side. Generator off. Please ignore the mess of this house right now because we moved in and then I was sick for a day and then Frank was no, sick I'm for sick. a day yeah. and then the propane thing and the fridge thing and then we can't just, we, we have not been able to move in. So stuff is everywhere. Everyone's Alex, been feeling not good. Let's see if it holds. It's going, oh, it's going to hold. Because you see how hard and, and equal that flame is right now? We haven't had any of that at all. No? That already kicked on. You see how it's out of check mode? The 120 is off, so it automatically switches over. Bingo, bango, bongo. You think done. we good? Yeah, listen. Do you hear the, do you hear the, uh, the no. propane outside? That was our issue. I think we're good. All right, well, we're gonna come back after dinner. We actually pre planned that my sister would have dinner for us. We forgot to let her dog out. Her dog did poo in the house. That's, that's, that's on us. So maybe we go clean the carpet and eat some Indian food. I felt so bad that I walked in the house, went and took a shower, but I was in such bad feeling on being sick. I didn't even notice that Rocky was there or not. Okay, propane, 100% fixed, been working great. Laundry, done somewhere else because we obviously don't have laundry back here. We barely have water, so. <laughs> We're really putting Frank to work this week. He's still not feeling well, but he's making it happen, Captain. We're gonna turn this little, ooh, porch into a, yeah, porch. Time for our bread snack, huh? Mm -hmm. Cheers. If you guys recall, a couple weeks ago, we made a new deck for my parents. Looks a little bit schmancier than this. These are the leftover boards, and we figured, why not put them to some good use? I'm just gonna be out here doing it because my voice is gone a little bit. It's hard for me to talk, and then when I talk, it makes me wanna cough. So you're just gonna have to watch what I do and bear with me because I can't talk much. The plan is to just build a really basic frame also with some leftover wood. We're just trying to use up scraps and then make them look as nice as we possibly can. Oh, see this double gate action too? We had to install this double gate. Because Everly figured out how to open the screen door. Like day one. Yeah, seriously. So she literally could open the door and then fall out. And this is the only airflow in the main area on this side of the vehicle, so you really need to have the door open a lot. When it comes to trailers, why didn't they put in like a bunch of 12 volt fans, like, Everywhere? like max air fans in each room? That would have been really nice. Or those like little Bodie ones that we had in something. Olive. Absolutely so something. good. Um, so there's airflow is low in there. So we've added our own fans, but then you have to run and charge and blah, blah, blah. We're making it work, but having this door open is key. But having the door open where Everly can fall out, not good. Bye-bye.
by one inch. No. Yep. We gotta get my foot. The way it goes. Oh times. no. One inch. Sometimes it's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. God, this is hard. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, we got it all Kaboom! I have to say, this feature over here that Frank put up for our first night in the trailer was really sweet. We used it a couple of times, uh, but then we went away for one night and we came back and it was about a football field away from here, blown in the wind. I don't think it's something that we could just leave up. So unfortunately that means I think we're gonna take it down. Plus honestly, it's not that buggy out here. Like obviously we're in nature and there's bugs, but it's not like Mosquito City or anything like that. No, it's really not. And the only time it's really buggy is like after a big rain. First planks going in. First plank is locked. All right, so all these are gonna be right here. Ooh, deck so hard, baby. Yeah. Now you know what goes good with a deck? A pool! Oh, <laughs> I didn't really want to go backwards. <laughs> You're so brave. I deal with some stanky water. Ew. And I don't know if this is a build-up. It's very gross, and it's like, 